Today, I'm going to be testing out the cheapest to the most expensive shooting gadget. I did a baseline of shots to see how well I could shoot without the shooting gadgets. My total was five of nine shots. But can any of these shooting gadgets actually help me beat that record? Let's try them and rank them to find out. So the first one is about $8. This is called a flick glove. It's supposed to help you flick your wrist. I'm not sure that it's working. Let's see how it does. I'm gonna tell you my honest opinion because we wanna make sure that we're getting gadgets that are actually gonna help us be better basketball players. It feels so weird. My flick actually doesn't feel better. It actually feels worse. Like, instead of being able to finish my shot with like these two fingers like I usually do, I'm more like this. Oops. It slipped. <laughs> okay. I don't really like it. I don't think it's necessary. I feel like it doesn't really help your flick. When I'm flicking, it releases tension at about this moment. Overall, I give this gadget a one out of 10. You don't need this. This next gadget we have is basketball gripping spray. This is $12.99. As you saw in the last gadget segment, the ball slipped a little bit. Oops. It slipped. So maybe if you had some sticky spray before you start your basketball training, you know, it'll be better. I don't know, we'll see. My hands are sticking together. Oh, listen. <laughs> that stick is too sticky. We got one, one for three. It's kind of hard to shoot with sticky hands because it's not coming off correctly. Ooh, if you do have sweaty hands, this probably could help you. My hands are pretty dry all the time. But if you have sweaty hands, it might be a good idea. And the sticky spray is already wearing off. It already wore off. And now it's all over the basketball. So I give this sticky spray 1.5 out of five. Cause Mel was right. Maybe if you have sweaty hands, this probably could help you throughout your practice. This next gadget, I'm actually really excited to try out. This gadget right here is $12.99. They always say to keep a gap when you're shooting. This is gonna help you create that gap. I'm not sure that I would use this left side. It's literally on my fingertips. This might be bad. <laughs> no way. It's that bad, yeah. All right, let me try to act normal. I'm literally pushing with my fingertips. This feels so unnatural. Like I feel like my, my fingertips sit more on the ball, like paddings of my palm the ball still sits there. So with this, the ball's not even getting close to that. There's still, still a whole gap in between here. <laughs> I'm getting worse. I shot another air ball and it made me give this gadget a one out of five stars. Little did I know this gadget is actually for dribbling. Make sure to subscribe so you can see me use it in a future video. This is a shooting strap. It comes with two shooting straps. It's $19.99. You clip it onto this side of your shorts. Boom, like so. Then you're gonna put it through and it's supposed to have some tension, so we're gonna make this tighter. Oof, it's definitely restrictive. But it does keep your elbow tight. I feel like I needed that growing up. Someone to remind me to keep my elbow a little tighter not so far out, especially when you're coming up. You wanna be coming up straight, not out like this. So it pulls it back a little bit. So it's actually pretty nice. Yeah, every time I go up to shoot, if I'm like this, it snaps it back. Oh no. I think it's altering my shot a little bit. It's definitely something you need to get used to, but I think it could help you especially if you shoot a lot on your own. 
I give this strap a three out of five. I think it could be helpful for you if you shoot a lot on your own. This could be a really good gadget. This gadget is $20 and it comes with this plate and this. When people shoot, a lot of people use their thumb on their guide hand. This is gonna allow you to no longer need your thumb. Keep it straight and let's test it out. So there's straps on the back. I'm just gonna put mine like that. I might do some without this. Woo! Straight net. So it's kind of hard to grip the ball already because you're using a plate. And then to only use the, your fingertips on this side, me having little hands, it makes it even harder. I'm gonna take this off. I definitely think it's better for right here. I'm gonna, I wanna try a couple right here, just for shooting. I definitely think it's good for form shooting. This one. Right here in front of the rim. I kind of like this product. Now, moving back further, it gets harder for sure because now you got to jump. You know what I mean? But I'm still money. I'm still money. Let me try to go further. Hey, yo. Um, for up close in this vicinity, learning how to shoot, learning to not use your guide hand. I like this, I give it a four out of five. This is a great tool to help you. That other piece, honey, it ain't for me. Bowling! All right, this next gadget is for your follow through. So when you flick, your hand should be here, resting on top of there for a high follow through. It's really tight on my wrist to make it work properly. Oh, I like that my finger touches it. Oh, I missed. But you can see the first one when I made it, my hand landed in between the red lines. But when I missed, my hand landed over here. I made it again and look where my fingers landed. I kind of like the gadget. Sometimes you need the recognition a little bit. Right on the money, honey. If you're flicking straight, you're hitting hitting that screw. I haven't shot a three yet. Let's see if this helps me hit a three. I'll follow through. Look where I landed. Right in the middle. I would use these things kind of closer to the rim. And as you get used to them, then gradually push back. 3.5 out of five. I don't think it's super necessary. Before the final gadget, I just wanted to say, no matter which gadget you choose to use, all matters about putting in the work. I didn't have any of these gadgets growing up. Challenge yourself, you know? Focus on your form. Don't just come out here shooting like crazy, but not focusing, focus. Here to here, shoot. Here to here, follow through. Okay, boom. No thumb. There's a lot to think about when you're starting to learn how to shoot. But you can do it. On to the last gadget, let's go. This ball is $35 and it's an Eco Sports ball from Amazon. It's supposed to have deep channel grooves, but they're not as deep as they may look on camera. But deep grooves are supposed to help you place your fingers, get your placement of the ball, get your follow through, the ball, the rotation of the ball spinning correctly. This is probably the cheapest ball I've ever had as far as material goes. Like, it's super hard. The padding is not good. I don't like this ball. But we're gonna test it out, and the channels are not even deep. We're just shooting it regular. Should make all the shots, because I'm a bucket like that, but. That almost didn't go in. <laughs> Feels like a ball that I'd get at the rec center that they had for years, and they ain't gotten new balls in a while. Ooh, we're almost perfect. Last one. 
finish on a make. Oh no! One out of five, automatically. The channels aren't deep, it feels like a regular basketball, but feels like one of the cheapest basketballs I've ever bought. That's the end of the video. If you like this video, make sure to check out the cheap to most expensive basketball dribbling gadgets popping up on the screen. Love you, fam. Peace. <laughs>